Tonight, we are getting our first look at surveillance video of the violence outside the Justice Center back on May 30th. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department released that video after five undersigned investigators filed a public records request following those downtown riots. Investigator Scott Knoll has the latest for us tonight. The county says it's still adding up the damages out here, but says so far it's more than half a million dollars and expected to grow even higher. As quickly as police and deputies got the crowd pushed back from the Justice Center. You got males trying to break the uh, security booths over by judges. The damage began. You can see on surveillance video, demonstrators begin breaking out the glass on this guard shack. As deputies stand guard just inside the doors, glass flies in. As the crowd begins shattering doors to an entrance, dispatch recordings capture the moment. We're breached, we're breached, we're breached. As deputies race to keep demonstrators out of the building, another group sets their sights on cars parked across the street at the Courthouse Square building. You can see here as one man reaches into the trunk of one of those cars and appears to pull out a gun, holding it up in the air triumphantly. Minutes later, a row of three cars burns nearby, a fourth already on fire yards away. Earlier this month, during a video hearing, Cuyahoga County Sheriff David Schilling told County Council the crowd and level of violence outside the Justice Center that day more than the department expected. Unfortunately, and uh, I, I, I hate to say this, I, I think that initially we underplanned. As the crowd continued breaking out windows, the busting window in the clerk's office, a call for reinforcements. Send out a page for all available bodies. Send out a page for all available bodies. By then, the damage extensive. You can see here a man takes a hand truck to a security camera, knocking it out. Another attacks a camera with what looks like a signpost as deputies scramble to get the people and equipment they need. I know these guys out here that have masks, uh, CPDs, launching gas, and throwing it back. The sheriff Fucking telling council the whole thing was, in his words, an eye opener. We learned from it. We learned a very valuable lesson from it. We asked the county about what appeared to be that gun stolen from the trunk of the car. A spokeswoman said they're still looking into that, but that the car either belonged to the city of Cleveland or was privately owned. Outside the Justice Center, I'm 500 side investigator Scott Knoll.